All right, Kale and I were having a conversation today. We're like, what's Stutzman going to wear? So you get the Louis belt and the Louis shoes. We're going to give those incredibly high marks. Thank you. And then uh, you look at the suit. I love uh, it. I got my dog in there. You know, I uh, got the, the design in there. What so kind of dog? And what's the dog's name? She's a mini Australian Shepherd. Nice. And her name is Roxy. I got her last, uh, right after the spring game, my parents told me don't get a dog. And so I wanted to get a turtle. Couldn't find a turtle, so I got a dog. And uh, it's been a great decision. Kale's brother's got a turtle for you. He's only like 100 pounds, though. He's it's got a... uh, giant turtles about this big really? up on the ranch. So if you want one of those, we can, we can get them to you. So I got a question for you. So are you a better basketball player, a dancer, or a golfer? Basketball player. For sure? For sure. What would be – what you are you worst at? What are you worst at? Probably dancing. Probably dancing. Okay. All right. I'm pretty bad at golf, though. Yeah. But I'm – Pretty dang good at basketball. Okay. All right. You like to bang in there? Do you play outside? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm getting in the paint. Come on. We're physical. You know how it goes. <laughs> that's a good That's a good point. Uh, I heard you earlier today in the breakout session talking about the defensive line. Give us a scouting report of the new guys up there and then Dominic Williams who came in from TCU. Yeah, so you look at the freshmen. You look at Jaden Jackson, David Stone, two guys that are very high recruits, and they they check off all the boxes physically when you look at them. And then you get to see him on uh, spring. You see Jaden Jackson really off – right away to start to dominate even when he was here for he came for the bowl he came for the bowl game dominating right away as soon as he got reps very impressed with how he is you know he's kind of a plug and play guy you look at david he has all the physical capabilities very talented in his moves very talented in his, in his set pass rush and run stopping and it's gonna take him a little bit more time i think i think but he'll still be ready to go it's just uh he's a little bit a little bit smaller than Jaden, but he's still a physical he's gonna be great at the three technique and he's he's dominant both those guys are amazing then you look at dom williams coming in that man is also just huge. He's, Teddy called him earlier a boulder, and I think that's a great way to describe yeah. him because that man is a rock. And uh, he came in right away, you know, a veteran, so the system didn't take long for him to pick up. And now he's kind of stepped in that leadership role in that defensive line. Him and Deton Terry has done an amazing job getting those younger guys ready. You know, it's hard to hard to learn the defense, you know, from that aspect. And having guys, especially a guy that just came in here, able to teach it is huge for the defense. So tell me, what, what did you work on the hardest? If there's one or two, three things – that you saw from last year, moving into this year, that I, I want to make sure I'm better for our football team in mm -hmm. these areas. What are, what are the things you worked on in your offseason this spring, this summer? I think primarily my block destruction, you know, getting off that block, having a, your first initial strike has to be very dominant. You have to be able to extend your arms. And then understanding player recognition, like in the past concepts, you know, and then having better zone coverage, you know, matching routes, being inside underneath and uh, to elevate the throws and make it difficult so your safeties and corners can make plays on the ball. How's your media career? Your podcasting? You're really good. I'm very solid. Did you learn, learn anything from Kale? <laughs> oh, yeah. No. I, I had a great coach in that aspect. You know, I think uh, for the SEC, I don't know if it's going to continue much. I want to give, you know, my senior year as much as I can. I don't want to have any regrets. don't want to think something was taken away from my time. Not like it did, but I don't want anything up in the air. So you grew up in Florida. So you kind of grew up in some SEC country down there. You guys get to go to Auburn, Ole Miss, LSU, and Missouri. Mm -hmm. Are there any of those places that you're excited to have a first chance to ever go in and play at that growing up as a kid, you're like, man, I love that stadium. I mean, I think growing up, especially you look at LSU, yeah. I'm sure it's been a very common answer because of how gr how great and hostile that environment is. When you're a football player, you got to dream about moments like that. you got to dream about just the bright lights and fans that are booing your name because that's what the best part. Backs against the wall and all you have is your teammates, and that's what you look forward to when uh, you're entering an environment like that. Uh, speaking of LSU, Harold Perkins yesterday, I asked you if they heard Danny Stutzman and there's a little tweet that went out. He don't, uh, do you know who that is? Yeah. Who, who's that? <laughs> no, nah, I'm, 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 I'm playing there. Uh, obviously, you know, you look in the full quote, you know, yeah. he's very focused on himself. And as a fellow linebacker, you got to respect that, man. That's yeah. a dude that wants to be 100% committed to, towards his game, getting better every single day. And he, he plays one of the most the difficult one of the most difficult positions on the defense. And so he has a hard job to do. And he has to lead his team just like I have to lead mine. And uh, I respect a guy that can do that. I'm really excited to see him perform this season. You guys are going to get to see each other. Late in the season. That's, That's going to exactly be a lot of fun. Right. Just like so you said. What, do you have any individual goals, Danny, this year or you, that you could share to everybody, the Sooner fans, or you keep those to yourself? I mean, one thing that's really big on my mind, uh, I want to be on the, the top 10 all-time tackles. I think that's something, you know, obviously I want to be the fifth Budkiss winner. But, you know, when I, I, want to, I want to put myself, some myself in the Sooner uh, record book. Nice. Linebacker's been a really, really good, good position ones. at OU. Been I mean, I mean good they, like most all of those uh, positions. So have you played um, – uh, college football 25 yet i have uh i, I was I, I made another character danny stutzman too uh i realized it's not as fun when you've already done it before uh then so myself texted danny stutzman too i was like can you wake me up for this fall camp practice 
and I saw a chance of sabotage, changes alarms. So I did not make practice. So Danny, Danny Stephen two got some, you know, some more reps. And I look at the first game, and Danny St- myself did not play in the game. I had literally Coach V benched me, and then we lost to Temple. I was like, oh my gosh, that was Danny Stephen two's fault. Like this is unacceptable. And I was, I felt really bad. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So that's it. I'll tell you that speaks very highly for Danny Stutzman because. Oklahoma's a 42-point favorite. If if Danny Stutzman misses that game and that's a 42-point yep. difference, then I think the Buckus Award is coming your way, maybe even the Heisman. So, Danny, you can't play defense anymore. you got to play offense. What position Tight would end. you play? Tight end. I think uh, my hands are really solid. You look at my tape before. You would have loved me in the receiver room. Yeah. But uh, I think that's the best place for me. You know, it runs in the blood a little bit. My, that's what my dad played. But uh, tight end, yeah. I think that's a Flex good. guy or do you want to put your hand down? I think I want my hand down. You know, obviously I can, I can, uh, I can do a little work. of both. But I think I like dirty work. You know, you know, kind of like a Dallas Clark type of player. Oh, no glove, nice. just straight catching the rock. Nice. Iowa tight ends have been really good. So that's oh, a good yeah. way to pattern yourself. All right, they're nervous, man. We really appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for all the personality that you've added to the oh, program. Absolutely, man. man. Thank you guys so yeah. much. Thanks, Danny. Danny yes, sir. Love you, brother. He is one of a kind.